congratulations on uh, not only this great uh, best-selling book, number one best-selling book. I mean, come on! <laughs> to say. How cool is that? It's bananas. It, I'm like, you... people want to hear what I have to say? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever think you would write a book? No. <laughs> no. Really? No. When one of my, you know, one of my agents was like, are you interested? And I'm like, what do I have to say about anything? And then I would meet people and cry with them in bathrooms, you know. That's what this is That's us. what we do. Uh, that's what we do, best, and yeah. he would always ask, like, how did you become successful? And I'm like, I don't know. I actually don't know. So maybe but, this might be helpful for you. Well, so I went back. So it, it, it was helpful for me. Yeah, you're like, oh, yes. this is how I became successful. You really self-help. Yeah. That's some real self-help. You actually yeah. helped yourself. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, so I went back and just sort of like thought about my life lessons, and I really realized that it's not what happens to you, but what happens for you. And so every single lesson that like informed my life and where I'm at right now yeah. was really advantageous to kind of share and be very, very vulnerable. Yeah. In the process, but it's scary. It's still scary. It's scary. No. Yes. Yes. I, 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 there's a lot of some some deep stuff about well, I my life. No, I, 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 yeah. I, I looked through it. I like the gratitude uh, yes. list. Do you make that? Do you really make that every day? Gratitude I, list. Sometimes I don't put pen to paper, but I definitely wake up and I will say, you know, I'm grateful for my mobility, electricity, things that we sort of take for granted all the time. But just and it's really beautiful because the more grateful you are, the more that you receive. Do you do you remember what you were grateful for today? Yes, Is actually, um, my really delicious bed. Because I haven't had much sleep. Yeah. Um, honestly, like there are people who don't have beds. I know it sounds so ridiculous and cliche and ridiculous, but really, people don't have beds or electricity or you know freedom to even do what they want to do. And yeah. so um, I know yeah, it sounds yeah. so silly, but no, it's you're true. Very, I yeah. love that. You're it's very true. Uh, very humble. I mean, I love wow. the stories in here too about you moving to LA and and not to be an actor. You were like a, an agent oh, for a yes. while. I was a talent agent for nine years. I became my agent's assistant because I needed to. Here's the thing. I needed a job, and I can't work with the general public because if I was waiting tables, I'm not sure I'd be good at it. No, I don't no, think no, I'd, I'd be I'm, good at it either. I'm like, what do you want? Oh, God. Yeah. And then, oh, it'd be just too much. Uh, yes, it's so a lot So my of work. agent, luckily, was like, hey, do you want to come and work with me? And I'm like, huh? And I, the first day I worked with her, she's like, don't look at me while I'm on the phone. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, it was scary because I like didn't want her to drop me as a client, but then I'm her assistant. So anyway, I ended up working in the youth department and then becoming an agent myself. Really? Represented Ariana Grande. Is that right? Dove Cameron. <laughs> yeah, really? I was on the team that represented both of those incredible ladies. How fun is that? It's crazy. It, it's so fun. Yeah. Also, like you know, they're going to be stars when you meet them for the first time and you're you like, really baby Ariana you were like like yeah. before well, Victoria yeah. yes I mean, before Victoria's like right after 13 on Broadway wow yeah so Isn't I know that fun and it's then so I, cool but then you have that but then from that story which is great but also uh the story of uh, you working in McDonald's <laughs> and that you realizing that that's the first time that you kind of started to hone your actor skills your actor skills listen you got to make do right I mean yeah and they were like Chrissy you're gregarious go in the back drive through I'm like okay and so you get bored because you're back there by yourself. All your friends are making fries in the front. Yeah. And you're like, great, who am I going to talk to? Yourself. And maybe their occasional customer. So I would just put on accents. And I'm like, um, oh, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you, please? <laughs> right? <laughs> just, what? Like Gainesville, that, you, Florida. You, There's some English girl in Gainesville, Florida. You're in, yes, you're in was, Gainesville, Florida. There was that day. And um, except, really? for, except for a gentleman comes up to the, he was going to the University of Florida. He was comes up to the window and he's like, right, where are you from then? And I was like, ah, uh, I'm from Leeds. He's like, oh, you don't have a proper Leeds accent. And I'm like, I, uh, I I'm like, better lying. I, I'm like, I can't do this. I can't yeah. lie so anymore. Was, but, but also a really funny story about McDonald's is I was, um, my manager was passing by and I was going to ask her if I could go to the bathroom. But instead of asking her I, on my, you know, little um, system, I said, hi, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> instead of, hi, can I take your uh, order? Yeah, instead of, hi, can I take your order? Hi, can I go to the bathroom? Uh, <laughs> to the speaker, yeah. To the speaker. Yeah. And the woman comes up and she's like, did everything come out all right? <laughs> thoughtful. She was thoughtful. Very thoughtful, yeah. lady. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.